Hi, Claudia. Hi, Claudia. Sorry. Hi. You were, Hi. You were booked for from 11 to 11, sorry, from 10 to 10, 10. Uh, I think so because I, um, in this moment, I don't remember hasta dónde había que llegar. Ah, okay. Uh, but but uh, the the email that you received was from. Ah, okay. Uh, yes, the ten for. Ten ten. Ten ten. Yes. Okay okay. So we have we have some some minutes to discuss. Tell me, do you have any question? Well, first, let me tell you that I want to congratulate you because you always speak English in the class, and that is something very good, okay? Uh, thank you so much. Now, do thank you have you any so questions much. from any topic? Um, I, I think I have uh, two problems with the verbs in the past, verbs in the in the present uh, when you use e ing ah, okay so maybe you have you have problems with the tenses yes so because we have time we have a little time all right i'm going to help you with something useful give me a second i'm trying to open okay i'm, I'm going to explain it to you uh right now give me a second give me a second hey where are you claudia here i'm gonna do it again now yeah this is okay i'm gonna help you with this if you have questions with the tenses what you can do is go to because we have a little time so I'm gonna tell you because I know that you are a very smart student. So what I want you to do is this. You will look for information about simple present, okay? okay. You will look for information about present progressive and you will look for information about simple past. These are the three tenses that you have to, like you have to, to, to reinforce, okay? okay. Simple present, present progressive, and simple past. Now, just to be a little quickly, simple present, Claudia, are all those verbs that are base form. For example, it, eats, go, goes, play, plays, all right? Those are the verbs that are in base form and third person singular in the simple present. Okay. The verbs, uh, with when, ing when, are gonna be used when, in the present progressive or the activities that we do in the moment when we are speaking okay, okay. For, for example but, when, but uh -huh. the simple present when you use f uh, in the final verbs is because you're talking in plural uh, no the S means when you use he, she, and it. It is for third person singular. Uh, okay, okay. For example, okay, okay. my mother works. My oh, mother okay. works all day. So you are talking about the activities that a person does, okay? Yes, yes. When I we understand. About present progressive, if we use the verbs in ing, for example. Okay. In this moment, I yes. am talking to Claudia. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. In this, yes. I am talking to Claudia. Or in this moment, I am teaching. And in the simple past, we have to memorize the verbs. So, for example, eat, ate, drink, drank. For example, I drank coffee today in the morning is it clear yes yeah uh, and the 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 same 
the same sentences with simple present. Eh, sería, I drink coffee today. Exactly. Eh, in, the, in the simple present. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, teacher, sorry. No problem. Okay, so in the simple present, the verbs are going to be I, you, we, and they, and the verb is going to be in the base form. Drink. Okay. You don't drink. need an S. I drink but, coffee. Exactly. For this, for this reason, you have to look for information about simple present, present progressive, and simple past, so you can have a better a better idea about this. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Oh my God, time is over. <laughs> Claudia, Sorry. if you have if you have a question, you can you can send me a message. Okay? Okay. If you have extra questions, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna help you. Thank you so much, teacher. Okay, Claudia. Have a nice uh, night. You too. Yes. Bye bye. Uh, bye you, bye. You have to. You have to go out from the from the session. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Bye, Claudia. Um, have bye. a nice night. Have a nice night too. The. Hi, this is
Hi, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Yay. Hello. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Thank you? Oh, my God, you have been waiting for some minutes. Okay. How can I help you? Um, and I ask have... Me. You can ask me any question that you want regarding English. Well, it can be from the topics that we have studied, but if you have everything clear, you can you can ask me other other questions. And the other question and uh, what is the difference in talk and speak? Ah, okay, very good. Just give me a second. Okay, very good. All right. Well, in the Spanish, these two verbs, all right, are the same when you translate uh, the verbs to Spanish, right? But in English, they are different. So speak. Okay, uh, that is a little. Okay. When we say speak, this is uh, this is a very formal verb. Okay, this is a formal verb. All right, and uh, we also use it mainly when we talk about um, well. There is a question in English: Is may I speak to? May I speak to Mister? Mr. Ramirez, okay. So speak is hablar, right? But in a formal context. It is it is it is more formal, it is more formal than if you say, Can I talk to? All right, because that is very informal. So may I speak to? It is very formal. And also speak is a verb that you use when you mainly refer to languages, okay. For example, if you want to say, yo hablo tres idiomas, how do you say that in English? You say, I speak three languages, okay? You never say, I talk two languages. You say, I speak three languages, okay? Is it clear? Okay. Yes. Yeah, but the, but the mainly difference is that Speak is a formal verb. This is this is the mainly the main the main difference. Okay. Uh, now the next one, the next one is talk. Okay, talk oh. is uh, a verb that we use in more informally. We use it more informally. Okay, and we refer to this verb when we talk to other people, for example. I talk to my friends. You don't have to say with. I, you say, I talk to. I talk to my friends. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. So this is, this is, the, the, this is the, the difference only. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah? Yes. That's all. What? That that's 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 it? No. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, Do you have another question? Um, um, um are more words. Yeah, there are more verbs. Um like Es que son más palabras, pero casi ya no hay tiempo. No, 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 don't worry. You can ask me another. Ahorita tenemos, ya, yeah, tenemos cuatro minutos. Don't worry. And you are and, very intelligent. And the uh, verb see, look, and watch. Ah, okay, very good. Very easy. The verb see. See. Sí. Can I use the verb see? Everything. Everything that comes. 
in front of your eyes. Todo lo que se le pone en frente de sus ojos, usted va a usar el verbo see. Yes. ¿Mm? Es algo que usted no, no tiene la intención de verlo, sino que lo mira porque se le puso enfrente, right? Ya. Yeah? Okay. Por yes. ejemplo, ahorita yo la estoy viendo a usted, I see you, pero también estoy viendo lo que tengo alrededor sin querer verlo. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, the verbs is going to be everything that comes in front of your eyes. Now, we have the verb watch. The verb watch is more related to things like watch TV, watch a movie, or a veces pueden ser live things, for example, watch a soccer game. Algo que esté como sucediendo en vivo, right? And look, lo usamos con esta preposición que es look at. Is when you pay attention to something. ¿Ok? ¿Sí es clear? Okay. Yes. Yeah, so that is the difference between a see, watch, and look at. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, these, these verbs have a name and they are like, like this, the verbs that are similar, with similar meaning. Puede buscar mm -hmm. ahí en internet verbs with similar meaning in Spanish. Uh, y ahí le pueden aparecer la lista para que usted lo vea. Mm -hmm. So you can see them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so yes. that is the main difference between those verbs. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay, that's it. And um, I don't have more time. Uh, only one minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but if you have extra questions, um, you can you can ask me. All right. Yeah, you can you you can ask me, but um, maybe uh, from in the in the in the group or or in in uh, to me directly. Okay. 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 All right, Sandy. Have a good okay, night. Thank you. Yeah. Good night. You'll good finish night. the meeting. Yes. Yeah. All right. Hi, Herman. Hi, Herman. Hi, teacher. My God, you were waiting for some minutes. Okay, how can I help you? We're going to take advantage of the time. Do you have any questions with the topics? 
um, not sure. Um, Go ahead. No le da caso a esto porque es lo que le expliqué a Sandy anteriormente. But, ¿alguna pregunta que tenga? Eh, so teacher, bueno, con este, los temas de esta semana no realmente. ¿Con, lo, sí con tengo... algún tema de la semana pasada? Eh, sí, pero fíjese que más que todo tengo dificultad con el listening. Ah, okay. So you are you are having problems with the with the listening skill. Yes. Lo que le cuesta entender a veces. Cuando yo hablo, me entiende, verdad? Algunas cosas. Claro. Cosas? Ajá. No, 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 no. Ahí sí. Más que todo. Porque como... my 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 pronunciation is 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 Latina. <laughs> <laughs> sí. No. Ahí no tengo dificultad. Más que todo con los videos y audios que, que, que hemos escuchado. Realmente, ah. este, ahí sí he, he sentido bastante dificultad para entender el, de, algunas palabras. Sí, es que como the, the English, uh, I mean, the English that is used over there is very, I mean, it's, it is real English. No, yo siempre le digo a mis alumnos, no es que nosotros hablemos inglés de mentira, porque no hay inglés de mentira ni inglés de verdad. Pero está el inglés que es native, o sea, el que hablan people over there. Y está el que hablamos nosotros que es el como, con un poquito de acento, right? Because we are from, we are from, I mean, we are from America. So our pronunciation will be, will be never similar to the pronunciation of people who are native speakers, right? Pero una técnica para, para mejorar listening podrían ser las canciones, songs. Podría ser esto, mire, ya le voy a enseñar. I'm gonna stop the share. And I'm gonna share again, but now I'm gonna share with computer sound. Ok. So, for example, imagínese usted tiene los videos que hemos visto. Vaya. Eh, well. Le voy a explicar primero with songs. For example, imagine you like, dígame una canción que le guste. Tell me what song you like. Vaya, vamos a buscar esta. Sorry, it's not that. Let me see here. Though we gotta say goodbye. Okay, this is this is some this is una estrategia que puede, que puede usar. You play the songs y les pone lyrics. Okay? Okay. Les puede aparecer las canciones que a usted le gusten con lyrics. Eh, intente con las de los 80. Try with 80s songs. Son más despacio y ahí puede ir viendo el, 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 ejemplo, el vocabulario, vocabulary. For example, aquí dice, though we gotta say goodbye for the summer. Oh, what's the meaning of this though? Entonces usted lo busca, right? Yes. Ahora, ¿qué pasa si son eh, videos como los que hemos visto en la clase? Por ejemplo, how to make, how to make kiss no how are kisses chocolates made estos son los videos que les puse yo verdad entonces yes. si, si son un poquito difíciles Ok, para trabajar listening, nosotros lo que tenemos que hacer es escuchar una vez y otra vez y otra vez. All right. So here, aquí solo le ponemos los subtitles. Machines. Each station introduces one type of beam to the continuous flow blending process. Precise quantities are measured in pounds per minute. Ajá. So, al principio sería bueno que lo pusiera con subtítulos y aunque no le entendiera nada. I mean, sí le va a entender, pero lo que tal vez el problema que usted tiene es el vocabulario que a veces no conocemos, right? Sí. Yes. ¿Palabra? Uh -huh. 
Sí, pienso que, que, que sí, ajá, y, y creo que necesito dedicar también más tiempo a, 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 a escuchar, ajá, cosa que no he hecho hasta el momento. Ah, ok, vaya, ahora podemos hacer eso, pero para que se le haga más entretenido, hágalo con canciones, do it with songs. Uh -huh. Do yes. it with uh -huh. hacerlo con estos videos. You can, you, can, you can do it with these videos, pero siempre con subtítulos. Uh -huh. Para que usted vaya escuchando y vaya leyendo a la misma vez, así usted va a ir eh, like, like coordinating your listening skills with your, with your eh, vocabulary. Uh -huh. Porque acuérdese que el inglés, también parte del inglés, es el, el vocabulario, right? Vocabulary. Yep. Sí, 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 correcto. Fíjense que también hay otros lugares donde uno puede practicar, donde uno puede practicar listening. Por ejemplo, hay uno que es bien bonito. Es eslab.com. En este sitio web, Herman, usted puede practicar los listenings. Acá, ok. Por ejemplo, le da view quizzes en easy. Aquí, usted escucha, you can listen here. For example, we have, we have this. Um, Saturday, Saturday scores. Saturday scores, all right. So here you have the listening, like yeah, here. Dad, can I go outside to play? Well, did you get yeah, your okay, Saturday's so work you done? Oh, Dad, right? do I have to? And well, you have the questions. So when you finish the listening, you can answer the questions. Okay? Any? Okay, para. Uh -huh. So here you are working listening and comprehension. Mm -hmm. But Correcto. if you want to focus with something more technical, Here the manuals, los manuales abajo traen eh, eh, links, all right? They have links. ¿Qué son los que uso yo en la clase? The videos or, or the listenings that, that, you, that you see in the class are these links, okay? All the, the manual has the links here. So you can, eh, usted lo tiene en el, la plataforma, solo le da copy and paste to the link and, and you will watch the, the videos. I, I, I show. Okay? Okay. Okay. All sure. right. Yes. Oh my God. 10 minutes. Thanks. Flu. <laughs> okay, Herman, have a Thank nice you. night. Go to sleep. You deserve it. All right? Thank you, teacher. Good bye night. bye. You finish the, the, the meeting because I stay. Todavía me quedo. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no problem. Bye, teacher. <laughs> bye. Take care. Bye bye. bye. Good grammar and spelling are important, but if you want to write essays that inspire... E-Learning Studio! Imperatives. Definition. Imperatives are verbs that create an imperative sentence, a sentence that gives a command or an order. When reading an imperative sentence, It will always sound like the speaker is bossing someone around. Grammar rule. Examples. Sit quietly in the classroom. Don't forget your books. Be nice to your mother and father. 
Go to market and bring some vegetables. Speak politely with your elders. Remember, to be more polite, you can use please. Please put these cups on the table. Don't make so much noise, please. Can you please help me in this task? Be careful. Use the verb without to and without ing and don't say you. Don't run in the rooms. Help your parents and elders at home. We say, we don't say. Help your parents and elders at home. Not, you help your parents and elders at home. Don't run in the rooms. Not, don't do running in the rooms. Imperatives Definition Imperatives are verbs that create an imperative sentence. A sentence that gives a command or an order. When reading an imperative sentence, it will always sound like the speaker is bossing someone around. Grammar rule. Examples. Sit quietly in the classroom. Don't forget your books. Be nice to your mother and father. Go to market and bring some vegetables. Speak politely with your elders. Remember, to be more polite, you can use please. Please put these cups on the table. Don't make so much noise, please. Can you please help me in this task? Be careful. Use the verb without to and without ing and don't say you. Don't run in the rooms. Help your parents and elders at home. We say, we don't say. Help your parents and elders at home. Not, you help your parents and elders at home. Don't run in the rooms. Not, don't do running in the rooms. Please subscribe this channel for more videos. Grammarly can help Hi, I'm Vanessa from SpeakEnglishWithVanessa.com. Are you ready to challenge your pronunciation muscles? Let's do it. Today, we're going to talk about the top 33 most difficult words to pronounce in English. All of these words are common words. Tell me, when was the last time that you used squirrel or rural in daily conversation? Not recently, right? So today, all of these words that I'm going to share with you are common. You will definitely use them in daily conversation. A quick breakdown. There are 14 commonly difficult words, but actually 17 because there's three bonuses. Then 11 numbers that are difficult, but actually 18 because I added some extras. And 8 food words, but actually 12 because I added 4 bonuses. Okay, so really, here are 47 difficult words to pronounce, and you're going to learn how to pronounce them correctly. Let's go. Number one, everyone's favorite, beach. Notice how my lips are kind of in a square shape here to make that long E sound. Beach. And also, sheet. I recommend using a small kind of hand mirror, something like this, so that you can see your lips and make sure that they look the same as mine. You can use it throughout this lesson. I hope it will be useful to you. Let's say that one more time. Repeat with me. Beach. Sheet. Probably. But we often say probably. That means we just cut out that syllable. Probably. Can you say that with me? Probably. And probably. 
comfortable. Let's say that slowly. Comfortable. In the middle of that word, it sounds like ft, ft, ft. Comfortable, comfortable. But we often shorten this to be comfy. I'm wearing some comfy clothes, comfy clothes. Can you say that with me? Let's say the full word. Comfortable, then comfy. Clothes, clothes. This word trips up a lot of English learner, but it sounds exactly like close the door. Close the door, I'm putting on my clothes. Same thing. You might hear some people try to add the TH in here, clothes. But really, when we're speaking quickly, it just sounds like clothes. Clothes. I'm wearing clothes. You're wearing clothes. Probably. Clothes. <laughs> Months. Months. This one is similar to clothes because we have that difficult TH in the middle of the word. But really, when we're speaking quickly, these are all for American English, if I haven't already mentioned that. In American English, we often just cut out the TH. When you're speaking a little bit slower, we might add it. But let me show you both. The first one, repeat with me. Months, months. My tongue is not between my teeth like we usually do for a TH sound, months. But if you wanna include the TH, you might hear some people say that, months, 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 and your tongue just kind of flickers out of your mouth, months, months. But it's no problem to just throw that TH away. I'm sure that's something that you've been longing to hear all the time in English. Just throw that TH away. Who cares? This is your chance. Months. Months. Though. Though. Kind of sounds like a W at the end of this word. Say it with me. Though. Though. You can watch this video up here for how to accurately use the word though. Thought. Thought. I thought English was difficult, but really, it's easy. Thought. Through. Through. This sounds exactly the same as the past tense of throw. I threw the ball through the tunnel. I threw the ball through the tunnel. Same sound, but they're spelled differently. Let's say that together. Through. Through. Jor. Jor. Some native English speakers might argue with my pronunciation of this word because there are in fact some regional differences for the word jor, but when native English speakers are speaking quickly, I want to give you the most general pronunciation that you'll see in TV shows and movies. In fact, it just sounds like J-O-R, jor, jor. There is a D-R at the beginning of this word, but just forget it, jor, jor. You might hear Drawer, drawer with a clear dr, drawer, drawer. But when most people are speaking quickly, we just say jor. Put it in the jor. Mirror, mirror. I already mentioned this word telling you that it's a good idea to look in the mirror. Here, we need to have two syllables mirror, er. It kind of sounds like m i r e r, mirror, mirror, mirror. Can you say that with me? Mirror. Desks. Desks. The end of this word is a little bit weird. What's English thinking? I don't know, but let's say it together. Desks. Desks. This is the same as asks. He asks a lot of questions. When you say it quickly, it sounds similarly, just quicker. He asks a lot of questions. He asks a lot of questions. Mm, lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Library. Library library i'm going to the library make sure that you sound each of those syllables out library library often often both of these are correct and it's just a personal preference for me i think i often say often without the t sound but sometimes i include a t just depending on what's going on in the rest of the sentence so you've got two correct answers here let's say them together often Often, often, often. Subtle, subtle. What's happening here? We have a B, T in the middle of this word, but it sounds like a D. Well, first of all, the B is silent, so let's forget about that. 
And in American English, if there is a T with two vowels on either side, because remember we forgot about that B, often that T changes to a D sound. So this word is a unique case because we have a silent letter in the middle of the word. Let's say it together one more time. Subtle, subtle, subtle. Let's go on to some numbers. 13, 30, 13, 30. What's the difference between these two words? We're gonna be talking about a bunch of pairs like this, teens and then the tens place words. So here, let's look at 13. Do you hear a T in the middle of that word? 13. Yes, there is a T in the middle of that word, 13. But if I tell you my age, minus one year, 30, 30. Do you hear a T in the middle of that word? No. This T has changed to a D. Now this is for American English, this is quite common. That T is gonna sound like a D. So let's say those two pairs together and make sure that there's a T and then a D sound, which is gonna help you to differentiate. And just to let you know, sometimes native speakers, when they hear other people say numbers, they have difficulty with this too. So it's no problem to clarify, did you say 13 or 30? And you can say that again and someone will have no problem saying, oh, I meant 13. Great, let's say those two together. 13, 30, 13, 30, 14, 40. Do you hear something similar here? We have a T and then a D sound. 14, 40, 15, 50, 15, 50, 16, 60. 16, 6D. Make sure that you're using the T and then the D for all of these pairs. 17, 70, 17, 70. 18, 80, 18, 80. 19, 90, 19, 90. In 1990, in the year 1990, I was three years old, so I don't remember too much from the year 1990. Fourth, fourth. Having a TH at the end of words sometimes trips up English learners, so here's your chance to practice it. Let's say it. Fourth, fourth. Notice my tongue is between my teeth here. I want yours to look exactly the same. Fourth, fifth, fifth. There's a little bit of spit that happens here with this word. So watch out if you're too close to somebody. Let's say it together. Fifth, fifth. My tongue is between my teeth. Hope yours is too. Fifth, sixth, sixth. This is a workout for your jaw and your tongue and your teeth. Let's say it slowly. Sixth. Just like saying the word six and adding favorite English learner sound, the TH to the end of it. Sixth. Sixth, 20, 20. There's a T in the middle of this word, right? What happened to it? It's gone. <laughs> so we need to pronounce this word without the T. 20, 20. This is something that often happens in English when there's an NT in the middle of a word. For example, words like sentence, winner. These words also have a T, but we don't pronounce it. So I wanna help you pronounce this a little bit better. Let's practice the word 20. But if you wanna take it deeper, you can watch a previous video that I made about NT in the middle of words. Up here, you can click on that link and watch that pronunciation video. Let's say that together. 20, 20, 20. Now let's move on to some food words that are difficult. We're often in food situations, whether it's at our house or at a restaurant or just talking about drinking something. So I wanna make sure that you can pronounce these correctly. Water, water. This is quite an American English pronunciation. If you wanna speak like an American, this is a key word to use. Make sure that that T has changed to a D like we've already talked about. Water, and make sure the ER at the end is quite strong. Water, water, water. Can you say that with me? Water, I want some water. Coffee, coffee. Make sure that the F here is clear. Your teeth are on your bottom lip and there's some air passing through. Coffee, coffee. This is actually tea, but shh, don't tell anybody. Wine, wine. Make sure that the W is clear, wine. 
wine, beer, beer. Let's break down this word because it's a common word, but I've heard a lot of mispronunciations for it. So let's say it slowly. Beer, beer. Do you hear that final part? Ear, ear, ear. Do you see my lips the way that they're moving? I want yours to do the same thing. Beer, beer, beer. I want some beer. Refrigerator, refrigerator. I'm gonna give you some good news about this word in just a moment, but let's practice this word. Re fridge. Make sure that there's some vibration happening here. Refridge. Er a der. Refridge er a der. Where is that d coming from at the end? There's a t, and that t is changing to a d. So let's try to speed this word up. If you have difficulty with this word, just break it down into different segments with me and then we'll put it all together. Refrigerator, refrigerator. My refrigerator broke, so I have to get a new one. We're so lucky to live in a time with refrigerators that we can use, refrigerator. But I have some good news. You can say fridge, fridge. Oh, we say this all the time because the word refrigerator is a big word, let's be honest. <laughs> so you can just shorten it and say fridge. I need to buy a new fridge. What's the best fridge on the market? I'm so lucky to have a fridge. Let's say this word slowly. Fridge, fridge, j, j. There's a j, that vibration that's happening here. Fridge, hamburger, hamburger. If you have ever seen the Pink Panther or you've at least seen the Pink Panther clip with Steve Martin where he tries to say the word hamburger, oh, I love this clip. If you have not seen it, I recommend just typing into the internet, uh, Pink Panther, hamburger, you'll laugh for days. I certainly do and every time that I see it, I laugh. Let's try to say it together so that you can pronounce it better than Steve Martin in this movie. Hamburger. Make sure that the H has some air coming out. Hamburger. Those two final. Hi, I'm Vanessa from SpeakEnglishWithVanessa.com. Are you ready to imitate the most important sentences in English? Let's talk about.